Good morning, I'm Dr. Caleb Kaufman with NorCal Physiotherapy and this is Morning Mobility where we give you 10 minutes of movement to start your morning off right. What we're going to talk about today are two muscles in the hip. We're going to talk about the hip flexors and the hip adductors. These are the muscles on the front of your hip and the muscles on the inside of your hip. Very, very restricted um, in mobility most often in most athletes. So we're going to go through three exercises <clears throat> to help mobilize these for you. The goal is to get these muscles in a lengthened state. So typically what we think about stretching, but once we're in that lengthened state, we don't just want to rest there. We want to activate those muscles to help activate it in the end range of motion so that we can gain some more mobility. Think about it as a hack to mobilizing and a hack to stretching. So we don't have to sit in one position for 60 seconds, 120 seconds. What we're going to do is find that end range, activate the muscles, and then hold it there for 20 seconds. So throughout this uh, morning mobility today, everything is gonna be held for 20 seconds and we're gonna do three rounds of everything. So I'll demonstrate the exercise on both sides and then we'll go through um, all of it together. First exercise is going to be a rib, rib and hip opener. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to stretch the front of the hip and then get the motion all the way up into the rib. This is gonna help with some breathing. Um, it's gonna help with some mobilizing very good exercise for any hip and low back pain that you have so we're going to get in a half kneeling position just like this what i want you to think about doing a lot of times in the lunging stretch we just lunge forward i don't want you to do that what i want you to do is think about tightening the glute on that leg that's down so your hip comes forward and then a little bit in when you do that you should feel a good stretch in the front of your hip all the way down the front of your quad but like I said, this is a hip and a rib opener, so we're gonna change this position just a little bit. Holding this position here, you're gonna side bend opposite. So when you side bend, I don't want you to just compress this side. I want you to think about lengthening over here. So when we're holding the hip still, lengthen this side so your arm's gonna go up to the ceiling, then just reach as far as you can. From here, you should feel a stretch in the hip, and then coming up into the side of the ribs a little bit, and then I want you to breathe in and then out. Breathe in. When you breathe in, try to fill this side up with air. Really try to lengthen that side. Okay, 20 seconds here. Taking nice deep breaths. Okay, when you're done with that side, we're gonna do the same thing on that other side. So leg is down in a half kneeling position. Tighten the glute, shift it in just a little bit. Side bend, try to lengthen that side, and then reach it up. Nice deep breath in, and out. Breath in, and out. All right, when you're done there, we'll switch back to the other side, do the same thing all over again. So remember, three reps each side, alternating sides. Okay, switching back over.
Exercise number two. This exercise is the adductor rollback. The adductors are muscles on the inside of the thigh. They go from the pelvis all the way down to the inside of the, the femur at the bottom. A lot of times these are sticky and nasty and tight and it's really hard to mobilize them. This is a very good exercise for that. So you're gonna be on one knee. The opposite leg is gonna be straight out to the side. Your foot's gonna be flat on the ground. Then you're gonna come forward in this like quadruped position. Next, you're gonna sink your hips back. So once you're down here, you should feel a little stretch in your quads. What I want you to make sure about, or adductors, excuse me. What I want you to make sure about is that your knee is pointing forward, your foot's on the ground. Now I want you to tighten your quad as tight as you can. That should increase the stretch a little bit. And then I want you to drive the foot down into the ground. When you do that, you should feel your adductors start to work. So we're getting the adductors and quads working. Hold it there for 20. Same thing, other side. Knees on the ground, foot is straight out to the side. Kneecaps pointing straight. Sink back into that stretch. Tighten the quad, drive your foot down. Exercise number three. This exercise is typically referred to as a couch stretch because you put your foot up on something as high as a couch. And then it's a really good stretch for the quads and the hip flexors. We're also gonna integrate a little bit of trunk activity too to make sure that we're getting everything from the hip all the way up to the spine. We don't have a couch, so we're gonna use a chair. Anything about this high will work, or if you don't have anything, you can just use a wall um, and put your uh, foot flat against a wall. Compensate as you need to. We're gonna start stretching the right side. So you're gonna face away from the object you're gonna be stretching on. Your foot is gonna be on top. One foot forward, one foot back, just like that for first exercise. And then coming up nice and tall. Even right here, you should feel a big stretch in the quads and in the hip flexors. What we're gonna do though, 
Get this a nice stretch. Make sure again, as the first exercise, make sure the hip is nice and tight. You're getting that stretch. And then I want you to rotate. So you're gonna pull yourself this way. Now using your arms as resistance, I want you to try to de-rotate. So try to lean for, uh, rotate forward, but your arms are doing the work against you. After 20 seconds, switch sides, one foot forward, the other foot back. The leg that's down, hips nice and tight, sitting up tall, rotate away from that side. Again, using your hands to push yourself as far as you can. Try to get that end range. Holding yourself here with your hands, try to rotate your trunk forward. So it should be this isometric hold in your abdominal muscles and in your back. All right, two more sets. All right, after that, your hips and your um, ribs should feel nice and open. Three exercises should take you about 10 minutes to do. Stop, rewind, rewatch as much as possible, or as much as you need to. Let me know if you have any questions.